Mm, let's make salt and pepper wings. It's crispy, it's aromatic, fragrant, spicy, and really packs a punch. First of all, what we gotta do is marinate these wings, okay? Now, we're gonna be marinating with half a teaspoon of sugar. Here I have about nine wings. A teaspoon of salt, a good teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of soy sauce, about a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Give everything a good mix. If you're not sensitive towards alcohol, this is when you can also add a good tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. It's a Chinese rice wine. Now, while the wings marinate, let's prepare the aromatics. Spring onion, the white parts, slice. Shallots. Garlic. Smash. Mince. Ginger, thin slice. Chilies, slice thinly. Green chilies, slice. Now this is completely optional. I'm just using this to sort of clear out uh, some of the green chilies I have in my fridge. Now, for the flour coating, I'm adding in about three tablespoons of regular flour and three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of corn flour. Use a fork and just mix them well. So yeah, if you're using corn flour, it, the crust will get really, really hard. If you mix it with a little bit of regular flour, then you get this nice sort of crispy, but yet not too hard crust that's nice and delicious. Okay, now grab your wings and coat in the flour. Press the flour in, make sure it's sort of coated really, really well. Now, dust off the excess and put it on a plate. All right, so now that we've got the wings nice and coated and we're waiting for the oil to heat up, right? I'm gonna start preparing the dry seasoning. Here I have Sichuan peppercorns and I have a little bit of garlic salt. Now, you're not supposed to roast your garlic salt because, you know, garlic salts are meant to be dry, but it's just that mine um, got a bit wet, so I'm trying to dry it out uh, so that it doesn't turn my seasoning clumpy later on. Nice. Once you start smelling the Sichuan peppercorns, yeah, put it into a pesto and mortar. Now to this, we're going to be adding about another teaspoon of salt. It's a teaspoon of white pepper. Grind everything together. Beautiful, give it a little taste. Mmm, get this nice, flavor from the garlic salt. The citron pepper has a nice kick to it and the aromas of the white pepper is what really, really give this dish uh, its name. Yep, so transfer all of it out. All right, now we're gonna be frying the chicken. Check for oil temperature, just dip a wooden chopsticks inside. If you see it start to bubble, you know the oil is hot enough. And always start with the drumit. It doesn't matter actually if you start with the drummer or the wing. Um, the only thing to keep note of is that if you're doing the drummer, make sure you do all the drummer first because the drummer and the wing have different cooking times. As you can see, the drummer has a thicker part of meat compared to the wings, so you don't want to have to be fishing out uh, the wings in between all the drummers. And the drummers will take a good five to six minutes. We're going to be refrying them later to give it that extra crisp. But first of all, what we need to do is cook the chicken. All right. Now, the drummits are cooked. We can start removing them. Place them on a wire rack. A trick or a hack to know when the chicken is cooked is actually when you see it starts to float up to the surface. Yep. If your chicken is no longer just sunk to the bottom, you'd know it's a sign that it's cooked. Super crispy. Now, we're gonna fry it one more time to get it extra crispy, but before we do that, we're gonna raise the oil temperature to just about smoking point, right under the smoking point, and then we're gonna dump in uh, the wings together with the drummit together and just give it a fry for about a good 30 45 seconds all right and in we go
All right, turn off the heat and remove. Beautiful. Having a wire rack is absolutely important, absolutely necessary in creating dishes like that because if we let the wings rest on just kitchen towel or a plate, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to steam up and it's going to get soggy. We're going to lose that crispiness. Put this to the side. We're going to take a little bit of oil from the deep frying and we're going to add in all these aromatics. Saute them until they get nice and fragrant. Wings in. Toss around. Turn off the heat. As you're tossing them around, add in the seasoning. And this is ready to be served. Get all of that goodness in there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, salt and pepper wings. And now, the time I've been waiting for, it's a taste test. I absolutely love chicken wings. One of my favorite parts of the chicken. Mm. <laughs> I'm about to do the chicken dance. <laughs> so, so good. Nice and crispy on the exterior. Juicy, succulent on the inside. So full of flavor. And the adding of the citron peppercorns just give it a nice sort of uh, a variety of peppery tastes. It's not just one dimension white pepper, but you also get this citron pepper that's, you know, a bit, that packs a different type of kick. Serve this around a dinner table or while you and your friends are gathered together watching football. Mm. Crack open a couple of beers. Good Lord, this will go in minutes. So, so good. Especially if you get the parts that has that chili, shallots, garlic, ginger, all there. If you've never tried frying your wings twice, try it. Yeah, it's going to change the way you cook wings forever, trust me. Mm. Somebody stop me! Or I can just keep going and going and going. That's how much I love chicken wings. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this content, uh, please do click the like and subscribe button. Uh, really appreciate your support. Uh, let me know what you think of this salt and pepper wings. A note to all you guys, if you're making this dish, it's absolutely crucial that you serve it right away. You can't make this dish and sort of keep it and wait half an hour later before serving it. It's got to be the last thing you cook and serve it straight away. And you can adopt this recipe and sort of make uh, squids with it. Uh, the same coating method, the same seasoning, the same aromatics. You can do prawns. Um, yeah, try different things. All right, guys, take care. Ciao. See you all next week. Bye.